I have to point it to you? Yeah. Okay. Ready? You mean... <laughs> give him an intro. Give him an intro. Intro. Oh, yeah. Give him an intro. Oh, yeah. An intro. Now? And now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Mr. Tobin. <laughs> All right. I started teaching in 1989. And I taught in junior high school for a short time. They got bumped. So... I got his back. Then I was able to get into Morris High School for a term. Got bumped. And then I was put into Lane High School. And that's where Martin was teaching at the time that I was there. I did not know Martin that well. But the first day that I, I got bumped into the town, I saw Martin and it seemed like, hey, I'm going to be you. He was me, I'm going to be And that's how I... I thought it was really cool that Martin and I were able yeah. to really follow our career all the way through Newtown High School. In around 1996, I believe, I was teaching PM school. And back then, everybody who needed extra credit for history, i get two days a week in the music room. They had about 100 students. And how you could fit 100 students, they had to share chairs. And one student said that they were having a student poll. And the poll was who is the hardest teacher in town and who is the coolest teacher in town. And they said, Mr. Tobin, you hit both. <laughs> and I said, I did. Well, when I come in, he said, well, number one, you're the hardest teacher. I said, so when I come in, I'm the coolest teacher. And he said, well, you came in number two. I said, who the heck beat me in number two? Uh, who's number one? And he said, well, Mr. Sykes, was the first teacher. And I said, you know, I can forgive becoming number two for Mr. Sykes. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So when I go to these retirement parties, I always like to say something and do a little thing. And I was thinking, I've never been to a math retirement party before. And I sort of tried to blend history and math together. And this is where I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a math equation using the score for the top. Ow, ow, frack, stay there, face this way. So you got a numerator and you have a denominator. What's that? So this is the numerator. Parentheses. The years I taught, according to the Board of Ed, I taught 25.42 years. Plus the months that the United States fought in World War I. Does anybody know how many months did we fight in World War One? Yeah. Six. For six months in World War One. Minus Yankee World Championship. Twenty-seven. Close parentheses. Times. Open parentheses. Number of Bush presidents. Two. 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 Too many. Too many. Plus. <laughs> Number of Adams president squared. Four. Four. Adams squared. Plus, Adams squared. the squared. year that I taught with Martin at Lane High School, 1991. Oh, Minus <laughs> the year of the Boston Massacre. 75. 1770. Close parentheses. Times. The day in January of Lewis's bar mitzvah in 2010. <laughs> January 18th. 18th. I knew that. January 18th. Yep. <laughs> I hope I can it. Plus, how many years do towns been around? Oh my goodness. <laughs> 117. 118. 117. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Yeah. Close <laughs> Times. The year that the crystal gave me an unsatisfactory. <laughs> the year that the principal gave me an unsatisfactory. The year that the principal gave me the social studies uh, teacher of the year. Also did that in 2002. 
Plus, the day of the month that Julius Caesar was assassinated. <laughs> 50, close parentheses. Now, the denominator. Oh my God. That, was that was numerator. Nobody knows that number. Well, you're going to find out the answer. I got it. Right there. <laughs> the number of global and American history classes that the Social Studies AP has taught after her first year. <laughs> Zero. Zero? Correct. What's the answer? <laughs> it's infinity. Uh, there's no such number. <laughs> Uh, we have to get up zero. Wow. Get up zero. <laughs> 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 okay. That's it. Competing so, with the food. Again, congratulations on your retirement and all the best. Yeah.